This is the third Klipsch speaker that I tried this year. Uh, Klipsch is a horn speaker maker and they make price competitive speakers. Recently, Klipsch became quite popular in the Bluetooth speakers market, led by their flagship two channel Bluetooth speaker called the Sixes. It seems this five has taken that position now. Quite surprisingly, the fives are smaller than the sixes. Woofer size has also decreased from 6.5 inches to 4.5 inches. While this set of speakers is considerably smaller in size, but carries higher price tag, some may wonder why. In terms of features, they are pretty much identical. Both speakers support analog inputs including 3.5mm stereo and RCA, which can be converted to phono input. For digital, there are optical and USB input. Both speakers also offer subwoofer output. The differences are the five support channel conversion between units and HDMI. While the inclusion of HDMI may be a welcoming thing for some, the question still remains. The build quality of the fives uh, seems to be better than the sixes. Plus, the fives has more bookshelf speaker looks with more sophistication. I got to admit, I was not a fan of the sixes exterior, but I like this one. The fives use paper cones. Some may think they are outdated stuff, but I think paper cones are great. Most speakers with paper cones never have let me down. I say they look quite promising. Tweeters are, well, typical titanium tweeter of clips, I guess. I got to say, more effort has gone into the home part uh, than that of the sixes. They are certainly more stylish and feels more uniformly fitting. Both input selector and volume knobs are located on the top of the master unit. Klipsch really has put some effort here. They look much better than those knobs of the sixes and gives quite premium image. Klipsch has put some effort on the reports also. Um, Klipsch named them like a track trick sport. Um, and they certainly looks better than the ones in the sixes. Uh, remote control, however, is the same as the sixes, so nothing much to mention. Bluetooth performance was more than adequate. I mean, it will beat most one box Bluetooth speakers. I could not use the internal deck with my main PC because I still use Windows 7 um, and I could not find the driver. Instead, I had to use my laptop with Windows 10. Uh, most internal decks are pretty decent these days and the ones in the fives is no exception. With adequate external deck, it really uh, sings. The sound of the fives are higher quality than that of the sixes. It has more definition and faster response. The sixes may have more bass, but these fives have clearer and more intense sound. The fives are a little darker than those clip designer, which I find a little unusual. And such darkness along with increased intensity helps a lot, especially in the reproduction of classical music. In comparison with Genelec 8020D, I have to say 8020D has less masking and more transparent sound. But then again, such comparison isn't entirely fair. 8020D is much more expensive product, concentrating only on the sound reproduction. The Fives, on the other hand, is a lifestyle product, providing many different features. Perhaps comparing the Fives with AirPods 100 would be an interesting challenge for both pair of speakers. AirPods 100 is my favorite speaker in its class and it still wins my preference, but choosing one over the other may be a tough one. Well, that will be for uh, the files from Klipsch.
Thank you for watching and see you soon.